complete look into how the first two lessons of our human body unit study have been going for us. The first lesson was all about living versus non-living things. And the second lesson was all about the skeletal system. Initially, I was going to do just one big compilation video of our human body unit study, but I realized that that could get pretty lengthy. So I've decided to break it up into a three part series. So I'm going to show you any changes I've made, anything that's been going really well, any new resources I incorporated. I also am going to show you all of the activities that I've included thus far in our study too. If you're new here, welcome to my channel if you find that you like the content i hope that you do be sure to hit the thumbs up button and to hit the red subscribe button and notification bell as well so in my initial human body unit study game plan video i shared with you guys that i was going to try something different this time i wanted to start this unit study off with a question session. So in this question session, I had Micah to write down any questions he had about the human body. And my plan is to get those questions answered at some point throughout our unit study. And this is my way of pretty much including him in the whole learning process, you know, raising questions and exploring the answers to those questions. Explaining living versus non-living. So on our card, we have all of our questions. Does it eat? Does it grow? Does it reproduce? Does it move? We're going to ask ourselves here. We're going to ask ourselves all of those questions before we determine if something is living or non-living. Okay? Okay. So let's go. So, all right, plants. Do they eat? Yeah. Does it reproduce? Does it move? They do. They do. So they're a living thing. They're living? Yeah. What about that broom over there? How is it non living? Because it doesn't it doesn't have a mouth. It doesn't And it doesn't reproduce, does it? No. It's a cat. Hey. Yeah. How is he living? What questions does he answer? Yeah, does he grow? Yeah. Does he reproduce? And what else does he do on the list? He moves. Yeah. So I did end up finding some really handy three part skeletal system labeling cards. So I went ahead and used these with the kids. I'll have these linked below, but I'm really glad I found them because in our unit studies, you know, my kids, there is seven, three, and one. My one-year-old, I'm not worried about so much, but I tried to find little ways of including my three-year-old in the, the learning experience whenever we have these unit studies. So I was really glad I found these. I'm sorry. Now, one change I did end up making, I initially I said that we were going to use some um, lessons from the good and the beautiful. Thus far, we actually have not, but I have included some of their printouts. Um, so you saw the three part cards that we used. We were actually able to use those along with this skeletal system chart that came with the good and the beautiful's unit study for the human body. So I thought that was really cool. I was able to kind of pull in some resources and use them together to kind of create like this one activity. Now, really, Micah's the only one who's going to probably take anything away from this unit study, like the information in it. So you see Judah at the table doing his thing as well, but this is more so for him to practice like those fine motor skills, you know, cutting, gluing, things like that. He did eventually venture off to do his own thing. He kind of just glued everything everywhere and just um, <laughs> went to town with his scissors, which is fine. But I just want to show how I include him in on these unit studies. And of course, he's, I never really require him to sit here and do these things with us. He just likes learning, and I think that's so sweet. So I try to find ways to include him.
So for the history aspect of our unit study, first up we studied Susan McKinney Stewart using the Five Brilliant Sciences book. So we read through the information about Susan McKinney Stewart and as an activity for that, I had him to cut and paste um, for his infographic. This is a part of a DIY history encyclopedia we're putting together for the end of the school year. So it's gonna include all of the pioneers we study. They also store minerals your body needs like calcium and bone marrow and bone marrow. The stuff inside your bones is actually a factory for your blood cells. So yes, the bones of your skeleton are pretty important, but they aren't the only bones you have. You also need to have healthy bones of faith. Give it to Bubby. Bubby, you like it? Now for my one year old, I keep him pretty much occupied um, during this unit study time by um, letting him listen to songs about the human body. So head, shoulders, knees and toes. He likes them bones, if you know what that song is. And I'm using this time that we're learning about the human body to teach him his body parts. These are the parts of my body that I can see. I got head, nose, hand, elbow, fingers, knee, leg, toes, foot, Stomach, arm, neck, mouth, ear, and eye. Look at you, but most of my body I can't see because my skin covers almost every inch of it. Skin comes in many different colors. It holds my body together and lets me feel things like my kitty soft fur or the prickly spikes on my cactus. Ouch! We know cactus actually do hurt. <laughs> Now, as I've said, I never really require Judah to sit down and, you know, take in all the information with us. He loves these lift the flap books, though. So I pull these out for him. This one specifically because it's human body related. And I let him flip through that while Micah and I go through the heavier information, the information that I know he has no interest in. Activities we've been doing have been very simple and the kids have also been really enjoying them. So first we did DIY x-ray handprints just using black paper and white paint. And then they also did another activity where they outlined their hand and they use Q-tips, they glue Q-tips to the paper to basically show where bones are in their hands. So all the while we're doing this unit study, I'm trying to encourage both the boys to dig into some information on the human body on their own. Um, this is just, again, my way of trying to include them in on the whole learning process and what that looks like. Um, and my personal feeling is that they will probably pick up some things that I haven't even 
like did a deep dive on if they are being encouraged to explore the topic on their own apart from the time that we are together in reading on things. You're gonna wanna make sure you're subscribed because this is the first of a three-part series, as I mentioned before, and I don't want you guys to miss out on how the rest of the unit study went. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day.